Welcome, my name is John Sperry. In today's Padlet video, we are going to be talking about universal design for learning, often um, the abbreviation UDL. Um, so we're gonna go through 10 different um, resources that help teach you about UDL. Uh, the first that I'm gonna direct your attention to is right over here, which is a short video. It's about six minutes long. Um, I actually put it in the top left corner because I thought it did a really great job of providing the history and overview of UDL. Um, viewers who view this learn that it's built upon the core belief that we should uh, design environments to be used by all people without the need for adaptations or specialized design. And I found that it was important to incorporate UDL and learning because this inclusive approach allows everyone to benefit from these type of designs. Um, if you look over here now, um, there are nine principles of universal design for instruction. I'm somebody who kind of likes lists, and I know many other people I do as well to kind of stair-step your approach. So I thought that this was really helpful because it provides a step-by-step -step instruction of how to help diverse learners. Um, with this Padlet in general, I try to look at different means of uh, communicating UDL, and I know that podcasts are very popular. Um, and we all don't have a lot of time, but we all have, you know, 15 minutes or so on our way to work to be able to listen to different approaches. And um, so I included a very popular UDL podcast here that talks about some best practices as well. Um, next up is someone who's very well known in the field, Dr. Katie Novak. So I wanted to include her in here and she provides um, some overviews in this three to four minute video on many things that are actually considered UDL and then other things that are not considered UDL. Um, so I thought that that was really helpful um, to hear from an expert in the field regarding you know, what works and, and what really is not UDL. Um, next up here with the dollar sign, I, I wish it was money for everybody, but instead um, it's another great resource and it's, uh, it's similar to um, almost like Goodreads if you're familiar with that where um, those who are practicing UDL can go and vote on some of the best practices by other people. You can share your ideas, you can make recommendations, very similar to Goodreads, which is one of my best resources and, and often how I find classroom um, books as well. Um, up next are some sample pack ideas right here for implementation from Brooks Publishing. Um, a lot of times when, you know, we get all these great ideas and we're thinking, okay, how can we implement this into the classroom? Where do I start with resources? Well, this is a great link to help you um, better identify what you can actually put in place um, and kind of get you started that way. Um, scrolling down here, you can see that I have some YouTube videos. The first that I'm going to touch on here is some great specific best practices, um, primarily since we work in a building with multiple grades, multiple subjects. I found this link really helpful to help uh, teachers kind of zoom in on specifically what they want to do with their own classes. Um, and then if you are interested in kind of looking at some of the grade bands, you can do that as well to incorporate some best practices. Um, webinars are another thing that we have used in the past quite a bit at our building. Um, and so this webinar is from some experts in the field, um, really helps get you started with kind of soup to nuts of what, uh, what you can actually incorporate step by step into your classroom, kind of like what we talked about with this article over here. Um, but there's some Q and A in there, which is, which is really nice as well. Um, and then our last resource that we had over here that I wanted to touch on is, um, the Ohio state standards, um, so you may or may not be aware of the UDL uh, standards that are part of our state that we must follow. So this was another really great resource because just as every lesson um, we structure by the standards, we wanna make sure that we're incorporating those UDL standards as well. So again, you can see here lots of different great resources. I encourage you to look at these, become familiar with UDL, and um, the benefit is gonna be that we have that universal design for everybody to benefit. Enjoy.